Welcome to Low Budget Reviews of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Future. This is Ron Moore, along with Venom22 and The Wega. Damn, you stole my joke. I was going to say A Link to the Future. It's A Link to the Past. It's like 1991, 1992. I don't even know what year it is anymore. It says it right there. <laughs> yeah, this game is 20 years old. Wow. Man. Yeah, one of the greatest Zelda games of all time. My second favorite Zelda game of all time. I love Lord of the Rings. <laughs> What's your favorite? Ocarina? Yep. Time? Yeah, Ocarina of Time's my favorite. Fanboy? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and right here uh, is the opening story and with this awesome intro music. Yeah, just... I don't know, this story was all like... I mean, it's giving us the backstory, but it's just like... Eh. It's just... Whatever. <laughs> And of course, fighting. I was a kid. I was like, I don't care. Just let me play. And they were fighting over oil. <laughs> yeah, oil back in the days when there probably wasn't even like oil. <laughs> There's no oil in the land of Hyrule. They needed oil for their horses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the seven wise men. One of them's a midget for some reason. Yeah, one of them's right. This shoots. Same bed is. <laughs> yeah, they're the same guys that visited Jesus, aren't they? Well, three of them did. What happened to the other four? <laughs> he got drunk and then he couldn't make it. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, look out! Ah, 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 ah! Awesome mode 7 right there. We all died. Even a Zelda game had mode 7 back then, that's pretty awesome. Everything had mode 7. Now Tetris. Now, <laughs> Tetris, mode 7. <laughs> Tetris Dr. Mario didn't. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Wait, there was no Dr. Mario on the frickin' Super Nintendo. <laughs> yes, there was. There's Tetris and Dr. Mario 2 and 1 cartridge that was released for the Super Nintendo. It was? Yeah. Why can't I remember that? You're Gosh, an idiot. Hey. Anyway, uh, Aghanim right here. Uh. uh Casting his evil spell on, Ze I guess, that's Zelda right there. Oh, no, it was one of the Seven Maidens, my bad. Yeah. And I was like, that's not Zelda. She's not beautiful enough. It's not beautiful enough. 16 big graphics. I got everybody's blue except for that one guy. <laughs> He's from Halo. Red versus blue, and <laughs> oh, I guess the more blue than red. Represent south side. No. Oh, why are you back to the tile screen? Yeah. Well, well, let me push start right here. Dang it! I'm pushing start over and over. Here we go. All right. Uh, and let me enter my name real quick. Easy. Aw. <laughs> no. Ron Moore, come on. Through a hole. You can't fit, <laughs> fit, fit Rama or yeah, only Ron. Yeah, really. Ah, oh, come on, man. Just like WrestleMania for NES, Ronmo. That's what I'll <laughs> say. What about all them people that live in Zimbabwe with the long names? They can't put the name in this game. This game is sold in Zimbabwe? <laughs> anyway, um, the beginning of the game right here as Link's uncle is. Oh, no, Zelda's talking to Link in a dream. Yeah. I like that one guy that's there with the mustache. He should be the main character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool scene right here. Hear nothing but the rain hitting the roof, and then... Okay. It's just like a woman. Won't let Link sleep. Just bothering, bothering him while he's trying to sleep. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Even in his dreams. <laughs> yeah, but... Okay. Yes. You got the lamp! Light the way through the darkness. Yeah. Ah. The part's cool right here. The rain effects, even though it looks grainy, because of my letter. And yeah, so now you gotta make your way into a uh, Hyrule Castle to try to rescue Zelda. Wow, what a quick Zelda game this is. This is pretty lame. No. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the game. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Read the sign, you idiot. Okay. I would give a hundred rupees to the man who finds the descendants of the wise man. The king. But we gotta find I am the king! <laughs> so you're not allowed in the castle, son. Go home and get some sleep. Then he can't see that she's just walked around to the other side of the castle. Yeah, really, it's like they... they and they're looking at him, too, because they turn. They turn and they're looking at him, they don't say nothing. Hey, where are you going? Like, well, they just all like, oh, these damn kids. I was supposed to go to the door, so I just keep looking at him. Yeah, really? <laughs> I think he's just checking out Link. 
Yeah. Ooh. What kind of a creepy game is this? I went to the wrong side of the castle like an idiot. It's supposed to go this way. If it's your favorite or second favorite, why can't you remember what to do? Yeah, even the guard was looking at you like, wrong, wrong, wrong way, dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this way to sneak into our castle. It's been a while. Shut up. Um, it's been two days. <laughs> Like the last time you played, I don't know. <laughs> no. How stupid are you? Anyway, here Plays we go. Plays all the time. You addict. I live in an addict. What? You are an addict. Oh, Link's uncle. Oh, Ronmo. See, this is the only part I don't like about the game. I come like the only Mexican in the game dies right in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, really. You know he's Mexican. Yeah, why, why did your uncle die, Venom? That's messed up. He forgot his beer and he, and he died right there. <laughs> oh, the liquor... <laughs> Okay, as Cheech passes away, you now get the sword. No! Uh, oh well. And Cheech is gone. Look at these joke of a soldiers. You hit them and they're still like, Dude, what was that? And he's really a ninja. They don't know what's hitting them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now we're stocking up on magic power here. I get some blue rupees. Okay, I didn't need to light that. I just wanted to demonstrate the awesome power of the lamp. <laughs> The most awesome item in the game, the lamp. Yeah, the most magical one. Takes up the most magic power. Don't yeah, beat around the bush. Come on and beat this game. I had to beat you. <laughs> Whoa, there's a, a, there's a real guard now. Finally, some a real challenge. <laughs> he seems to be caught off guard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't get to demonstrate my lamp power. They're all lit up. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Zelda. <laughs> I thought this is Chrono Trigger. I've been playing too much Chrono Trigger lately. It's too much to handle. Yeah, I like this little castle theme. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. This game has an awesome soundtrack. Go Koji Kondo. Who? No. Koji Kondo, you better know him. Oh, Koji the Kondo, I, what? Why I oughta. <laughs> Wait, no, Ronnie thinks that none of the white people made this made this game. Well, there's nothing but white people in it, except the Mexican and I guess, oh yeah, Ganon, I guess is a Mexican, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Ocarina of Tom, he's Mexican, he came from Mexican Valley. Uh, you're, you're, who's no. Italian? <laughs> Well, he's a pig, you know, he's like, you know, in that one form, he's kind of like a pig. Yeah, really. So, so I think he is Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist we got. How dare you make fun of Mexicans? Sorry, Venom. What are you apologizing to me for? I'm not Mexican. <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, Spaniard. <sighs> oh, it's such a big-ass difference. Yeah, we don't eat tacos in Spain. What do you eat? Food. <laughs> I forgot what we. Eat. I've been in the U.S. so long. I think I just it's just burgers and chicken now. I just go eat. Yeah, go eat yourself. <laughs> you are what you eat. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh wait a minute! Oh, That's stupid. My bad. Damn it! Who do I blame? Link or Ron? Mo? Hmm. I blame both. How about blame? Shut up. It's not his fault that he can't shut up. Yeah, this is a, I think that was a boss. He kept blogging on your attacks. Yeah, I really kept hearing you on my sword attacks. He's got a shield. What do you think? So do I. Well, your shield is not bigger enough like his. Yeah, well, you're not bigger enough. I'm not bigger enough? Yeah. How about yeah, no yeah, one yeah, says Basement 2, where there's nothing. Yeah, really. What was the point of that? I guess just to add to the game. <laughs> oh, no. That dramatic effect. Dun dun. There he goes, just breaking pottery in a castle that he doesn't even live in. Yeah. <laughs> Here's That's the uh, basement. Who cares? Any boss or something. And now I think about it, Link is kind of a douchebag. He just like goes into people's houses and breaks all their pots and takes their money. <laughs> yeah, really. What's up with that, Link? The big key! The key is big! <laughs> Thank you, Ramo. I had a feeling you were getting close, Cuddy. 
<laughs> and, uh, I guess this, this is the debut of uh, Zelda's Lullaby. Pretty much. Yeah, this is the debut. And Lee's just looking at her like, oh, she won't stop talking. <laughs> Actually, timeline wise, Ocarina of Time was the debut of Zelda's Lullaby, I think. I think no one knows for sure because. No one knows of really the Zelda timeline has ever been revealed. We kind of have to guess it. That's, that better be the last thing we're going to ask Shigeru Miyamoto. What is the timeline to Zelda? You know, just he's look, the only one who knows. And he just look at you and go, you're a timeline. <laughs> you're a timeline. <laughs> and that'd be, uh, that'd be uh, like uh, a time traveler's finishing move. He was a wrestler. Oh, the timeline. The timeline. He's going back, he's going forth, he's in the present! I don't know. <laughs> oh, can you believe that? Okay, now we gotta get Zelda out of here. Oh, she jumped. I, I remember Ocarina of Time, she had like powers to open up gates and stuff. Why can't she just open up the dungeon gate and get herself out of here? Yeah. I come Link can jump, except in the second one. <laughs> this is before Woman's Independence. <laughs> yeah, the She's a princess! <laughs> yeah, the women's movement has uh, gone a lot far. You're a princess. Thank you. <laughs> it's gone, gone a lot far. I mean, come a long way. It's gone a lot far. Gone a lot far. How ghetto is that? That's vocab. That's got a lot lowest. of idiots. Uh, <laughs> Jeez, I'm an idiot! Stupid! <laughs> no, no, you're okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. Really? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we're trapped. What do we do? Oh, no. I guess we better end the game here. <laughs> yep. And that's it for low budget reviews. Uh, let's discuss. Uh, a link to the past and... Oh, wait a minute. What are we doing? Let's switch it to the link. Oh, yeah. That. It's gonna be yeah. dark. With our powers combined, we can move this thing. He needs the strength of uh, himself, Zelda, and the lighter to move that thing. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's dark. Light the light! There we go. One hit for those and you're dead. Ew, ew. Still can't even see anything. Yeah, really? <laughs> What's because you're blind like a snake? <laughs> Get it? Venom? Snake? Uh, Damn it! <laughs> I can imagine the guards, like the head guard saying, like, what should we do on this floor, sir? Like, just throw a bunch of snakes and rats and bats up here, that'll, that'll stop them. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it, gotta get the key in here. There it is! Da na na na, classic melody, or the little fanfare. Yeah, 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 yes. This game is ECW. <laughs> Can't stop. Ew. Sewers! How come that rat had a key? <laughs> Who the hell knows? <laughs> Might the rat and, uh... Metal Gear Solid that had the key card or something. These bad guys got some pretty crappy security. He just gave a key to a rat. Yeah, really? <laughs> no. The rat is the key to beating this game. That's... Stupid. <laughs> yep. Best that he said that before I was going to make a rat pun. <laughs> Stop all puns. Oh, it's too late! Yeah, if you pull the wrong one over there, you know, all these bombs will come down on you. You sure? You be sure not to drop the bomb! Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dang, I just said stop puns. Darn it. Oh well. <laughs> and as you safely take Zelda to the Pope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome, uh, eerie sanctuary music here. Mm, yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I knew they were Catholics. 
Yeah. <laughs> and don't get religious. Oh no, we're gonna get flamed! No. <laughs> yeah, what is like the religion? I guess it's like Hyu. Hylelian. Yes, it's Hylelian. If you smell a little bit. Ah, oh, Phil. Or Hylish. It's like. <laughs> no. 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 I can't think of anything. Darn it! How stupid are you? I'm very stupid, okay? You know, because this game is too awesome to be talking about in such little time of the beginning of the game. Yeah, really. We need to get further for there to be more ECW-ness. Yeah. No, I do not understand it. And, no. uh... Okay, he marked the Elder, uh... Where the Elder's located on the map. We gotta go talk to him. In order to do something. And I forgot what that is. <laughs> Was it Shasha Shasha Shasha? Yeah, sh Shaha Shala. Shaha Shala. 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 Alright, now we're heading toward the Eastern Palace to get the Pendant of Courage. Well, first we gotta talk to Shaha Shala or Shala Shala Shala. That's man. Yeah, the old guy. And, uh, okay, we got went AWOL on us. I think he went to go eat pizza or something. I think the pizza ate him. Yeah, we are here with uh, Venom 22 and Lens of Truth 1689. How's it going, guys? Uh, is that the old guy we're supposed to be talking to? Because it looks like a woman. Viperhead. <laughs> yeah, I think this woman's supposed to uh, tell us. It's been a while since I played this whole game. I don't know if she's supposed to tell us where the old man is or what. I think I think she tells you some totally different location. Like, you have to tell some, ask someone else. I don't know. Who's this idiot? Oh, okay, he marks the spot, and I guess he's not an idiot after all. He marks the spot of where Shahashra Lala is. He's Just... got blue hair, how can he be an idiot? Yeah. <laughs> and there he is. Uh, Sean Connery is uh, telling us that, uh... Jane <laughs> Fox! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's telling us about, uh... I think, is this where you get the Pegasus boots? I forgot. Later. S talks too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, what's the difference? Whatever, you're gonna get the same uh, reaction from him. You and know, I'm, I'm, I'm upset with him because he doesn't give you the boots until you prove it. Yeah. I guess it's a Skip Rogers' grandpa because he just marked, made a map and, and marked a map for us where we should go next. Here's the Eastern Palace where we're trying to obtain the Pendant of Courage. And of course, the first dungeon in the game is pretty much the easiest dungeon, other than the uh, Hyrule dungeon that we just beat. I like the music in these dungeons, they're pretty cool. Very ambient. Yeah, what you guys said. Yeah, I don't remember any of this stuff, it's been forever since I played this game. But it's a good thing we got a Zelda Master here with us. The guy that does lots of plays for, uh... Uh, Adventure Link and Majora's Mask and also this game as well you're doing a, a lost play of this game. Actually this one's a scene play. Oh, okay. There's a difference, believe me. I wish skeletons have money. I know, that's weird, good question. Ron, you're kinda poor. Yeah. Just throwing out round jars and Desperately seeking rupees and stuff. I already didn't think rupees were real life currency until I found out on an old Zelda MSN group that me and Heather were part of years ago. Someone said, There are two rupees in real life! I'm like, alright, calm down, rupee fanboy. <laughs> I think they're called rupees. They're Indian currency, I believe. Yeah. Now I'm talking to Shahashala somehow through this uh, payphone or whatever it is. Ha, telephones came in Zelda 3 too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone complains about uh, Link's Awakening because of the telephone in there, but this is proof that telephones are actually in other Zelda games. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't Zelda 3. This is called A Link to the Past. Get it right. Oh, it's the same thing. But it's not called Zelda 3. Good job for the Zelda fanboys here. Yeah, I'll put that out there just in case we get hate comments. So I can be on. So I cover, defend, defend them so we won't get flagged. Ooh, Busman is off. I always thought those guys were presents. 
Oh, those right there? The squiggly guys. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna go in the other room? Come on. There's another room. No wonder you're so poor. There's like a ton of blue rupees in there. I'm a rich man in heaven. It's all about the money. You know what though? I actually ended this dungeon with 999 rupees, so I kind of understand. You're greedy. I am greedy. I've been watching a lot of uh, speedruns of this game lately. Yeah. But this is definitely not speedrun, I don't know which switch to step on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Whoa, look out. Top left. Top left. No, top left. There we go. There you go. Yeah, uh, speedrunners actually use the uh, the Japanese version of A Link to the Past because there are several amazing looking glitches that you can use as well as less text. Yeah, Ronnie doesn't know Japanese, he just knows English and Spanish. Ron has to learn Japanese. Ron learned Japanese. Go. Uh, I just know gibberish. <laughs> you need to learn Japanese while you're playing the game. Yeah. I know Mexican. Mexican. Aw oh, man. Come on, dude. You know, there's a way to kill both of these in one, like, run while they're, you know, when they open their eyes and start walking. I still can't do that. Well, you gotta be precise with the jar. You gotta be really precise. Well, you have to be precise with the arrows. Oh. Oh, well, they yeah, like that? It's really tough. I think you cancel out your bow with how you shoot it or something like that. Or maybe it's just, like I said, it's the Japanese version being faster. Oh, yeah. Alright, and, uh, here's the boss of the first dungeon, a bunch of knights. Armos. Are you guys killing them? They're just dancing. I dance like Russians over here or something. They're getting up in the line, too. Maybe they're yeah. showgirls. <laughs> Doing do -si do Hamster dance. Uh, do these guys even do anything other than <laughs> I guess now they do is just... Oh, wait. Oh, there Oh, you guy got mad. I could do more. What's this? Oh, yeah. It's real good. Nice moveset, really John Cena. It's really funny. If you stand in front of him, you can just constantly shoot him with an arrow, and he never, ever is able to hit you. He's trying to kill you with his butt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right now, I got the pendant of ECW. I mean, courage. Take it to Shahasha, la 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 la. About the rock? It's cooking. Do you think Link has like contractual obligations to show his sword like that every every time he gets a pendant? Yeah, it's in the contract that uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, whoever made him sign. Shiggy. Shiggy. Shiggy, yeah. I call him Shiggy, that's my nickname for him. Hey, watch your mouth. Oh. <laughs> Alright, more of uh, the story of legends that last for an hour. Yeah, Shigeru Miyamoto makes the best games. That's when you know that people are insane when they make the best games like this. Alright. Now we've got the ECW boots. Ten points if you can name the composer of the soundtrack. Uh, that Japanese guy. Come on, what's his name? And he got some Nikes now, so he can run. <laughs> uh, but you guys not here, so we can't answer that. Unless you can. I can. Koji Kondo. Ah, uh, Koji Kondo? Koji Kondo. I don't know that guy. I gave, he gave me some, uh, some of that, uh, that Chinese food at that one place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, right here you pray. I guess, and uh, or that's when you open up the doors for uh, the, the desert dungeon. Or what's the dungeon called? Western dungeon? It's called the Desert Palace. Oh, yeah. I right. use the payphone again, talk to Shahashrila. And uh, I could use Pegasus Boots to get the key. Do you know that Zelda is 25 years old now? No, really. Robert yeah. Williams' daughter is 25? No. It's nice oh. you know about that, though. <laughs> I love that commercial that they put out for Ocarina of Time 3D. Yeah. Now we've got the Power Glove. Now we're playing with power. I love the Power Glove. 
power glove so bad. Yeah. Good reference. You know, uh, actually, um, Kondo, I don't know if Kondo is part of this tour, I don't think he is, but um, because of the 25th birthday of Zelda, there's actually an orchestra that's going to start touring all around the world, playing uh, basically compositions of Zelda music, so it's going to be interesting. Oh, cool. And this is a Mesco band playing the music, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You gotta watch out for these tiles. Now oh, hurry you up. Did you sacrifice a ram in the next room? Is that why there's a ram skull there? Yeah. It's a Texas Longhorn. And... Oh man, I'm an idiot. I had a key. I thought... It's one of those things you gotta wait for all the tiles to fly and then the door open. Stupid. Hey, you're pretty dumb. How stupid am I? Um. All right now we gotta share a little light on this. Oh, failed pun as we magically open the, up the walls. Yeah, I remember when I first played this the first time. I don't know what to do here, and uh, my sister's actually the one that lit everything up. Yeah, is that kind of uh, embarrassing? Your baby sister finds out something, and we don't. Um. Alright, now the second boss. Lanmola. Then, yeah, worms. Um, and a little bit more challenging than the first boss. I think the abyss is off the movie for, uh, Tremors. Yeah, so you're playing as Kevin Bacon. Hey, I just watched a Kevin Bacon movie last night. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, Bacon. It sucked. What was it? Basically... This guy gets an invi uh, the ability to turn invisible because oh. he's given this medicine. Yeah, invisible man? Yeah, and he basically does a bunch of horrible things and then they kill him. Yeah. That's it. Pretty much the story of anybody who would be get the power to turn invisible. I kind of laugh because if I turn invisible, I don't think I'd have the ability to do anything like that. Just I not being able to be seen. Enough. It was fun to be invisible in Goldenaw. I would do all kinds of naughty stuff. Like what? Leave your parents' house past curfew? Tisk tisk. Can't do that. Yes. But naked. Alright, now we got the pendant of... Wisdom? Or... Power! Oh, power. Pendant of power. Actually, I didn't know that one because I haven't gotten there yet. Uh. And uh, now, Power. we're on our way to get the opinion of what's the next uh, wisdom. It would have to be wisdom, wisdom yep. And uh, so, yeah, before we do that, before we get to, we got to go to the Tower of Hera. And now i got to go through these dark caves first to get through there. To get the Death Mountain. Oh, man. Nice job. i start over. First floor. Hmm. First floor. On your holy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, watch out. I don't know caves have floors. Okay, now we're talking to Dr. Wally? The heck? Funny man. This music right here. Dun 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 Shut up! Zelda Reorchestrated makes an interesting remix of this song and they add a bunch of screaming people to the background. <laughs> Hey, this guy talks more than Shahashrila. He does. It's because he's senile. I think he's secretly an old man. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember Link getting a, obtaining a flashlight, but okay. That's his lantern. Oh. I thought that light was the... Well, you light the, the lamps and stuff. All right, now we're on Death Mountain. Watch out, Watch out for the Death Rock. Oh, ouch. I 
Well, at least he's self-aware. <laughs> I wish we were safe. I talk too much. Just slap me. Uh, all right. Oh, cool. Finally, he's useful for something. Now we got the magic mirror. I guess Link needed to shake his makeup. When I was little, I thought that mirror was actually a newspaper, a rolled-up newspaper. <laughs> I don't even know why. Oh, this guy talking again. It's my fault. Shouldn't have went in there. He's gonna heal you though. That's good. That's good. I guess it's worth talking to him a lot and hearing his mumbling as long as he rewards you with something. Whoa, step to a little uh swim pool. <gasps> Look at the cute little bunny! So I guess Link's the Easter bunny now. It's a bunny. Me 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 me. <laughs> Kirby and uh is that Satan over there? <laughs> yep, it's Satan. Kirby and Bear 13 now, kicking, kicking Wee Guy around. <laughs> That's Wee Guy, he's getting mad at his baby brother for interrupting his commentary. Interestingly enough, um, everyone said that Twilight Princess was the first of its kind to make Link not Link, but that's not true because this is proof right here. Link's turned into a bunny. Well, plus Majora's mask, you know, he wore the mask, he was other Very kids, true. Too. No, I don't believe you guys. All right, now back to Link. Back to the light world. Cool, I teleported around top of the heart piece. That was cool. Now, for the tower of ECW. I kind of wonder how uh, Greek mythology happens to come across in Zelda games. Mm. Hera is the evil wife of Zeus. Or, in some cases, not wife, but girlfriend. Yeah. And, uh, I hate those freaking, what a worms, giant worms or worm. Or the worm. They, they hit hard. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> and it can't go through the door now because there's no key, no key, no keyhole. Hmm! Key doesn't seem to fit in the hole. Points for reference. Wait for these tiles to stop flying at you. Awesome, fun gameplay here. Number one place to die. Yeah, pretty much. I think the tiles made of Metroid on the ground. <laughs> and, uh, alright now. This is probably a map or... Oh, no, the big key. Duh. Let's get Rogers to be disappointed right now. No, get the map! And the dark well. Don't forget the moon pal. Do the bomb jump. No, you're not going to do the bomb jump. <laughs> what bomb jump? This ain't Metroid. Basically, what you do for the bomb jump is... is uh, you set yourself really close to the pit by those by the treasure chest you light a bomb and you take damage from the bomb and it sends you across over the stars wow are you serious i didn't know that Did you know that it's, it's a little difficult to do though everybody knows that even my little sister who's like five or something knows that and my little niece who's like negative three she posted a video response to that if you ever get if you ever, never get that point show us how it was done i never seen that i'll see if i can do it uh I'll make sure to at least give it a try in a bonus video. Yeah. Oh, uh, here's the boss. Now we're picking on the baby brothers, and his baby brothers. Now I got to pick on the mom or dad. Yeah, I remember this boss. I remember one time I think I was close to killing it, and I fell off like a moron. I've seen the best players fall off on this on this boss. Yes, it's kind of unpredictable. Interesting fact about this boss. Oh. Um, if you hold your sword like a spin attack, it actually prevents it from bumping you off as much, though it still doesn't prevent completely. But if you do a spin attack on the boss, it only hits for as much as a swipe's worth, which is in which is really weird. Yeah, that's what I used to do. I used to just leave my sword charged and kind of bump into him. Oh. 
Ron's doing it the dumb way though, so we gotta wait. I'm doing it the manly way, it's no easy way. In real, in the real world, you gotta do things the hard way. It makes you more of a man. Well, it's to work smarter, not harder. Yeah, but being a man means working harder. All right, now I got the pendant of ECW. I have a pressing question. Why do these bosses blow up? Uh, I don't know. I think they want to take concept from Capcom. And all the robot masters blow up all the time. I don't know. It's the robots. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. right. Cause these are like I don't know monsters or something. I guess they get mad when they die, so they blow up in anger. I fail. I don't know. Ah, yes. Yeah, get the uh, poison mushroom. Oh. Explosions just make everything look good. That's all that matters. Yeah. You see that, Ron? What? You can give this to anyone who wants it. Cool. I love the music in this forest. Nice little calm, chron Chrono Trigger-ish. Oh, this came up for Chrono Trigger. But yeah. I love the layer effects. Oh, let's play the animals of the forest. Okay, I can't read that. Let's get the Book of Medora. A Pandora, whatever it's called. But, uh, the hero's triumphant. Cat click it an eye. What well, is three symbols? Uh, hold on, let me read it. Yeah, it's take a up really the... nice poem too. Yeah, he had to take up the Spanish dictionary. <laughs> yeah. Your powers combined. I'm Captain Plant. Oh wait. <laughs> Suddenly, Shashrlock talks to you again. Ron Mo. It is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword. That makes evil re oh, I say retarded. <laughs> With this shining sword, I believe the shining, <laughs> the shining. It's a shining. You want to get sued? Yeah, no, right. Ronmo, help! The soldiers are coming to sanctuary. I, I, I know Zelda was, or who, who's that talking? The, the, the priest. <laughs> Wait, you have to pick up the Master Sword! You missed it! <laughs> oh, I gotta watch out for the thief! Actually, it's called the Mr. Sword. Mr. Sword. <laughs> oh, here we are. Sanctuary, hope I'm not too late. Oh. That guy was laying down on the job. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what she got? Abducted. Love this eerie... Uh, sanctuary music, whatever it is. It's like, Link, I'm sorry, I ate too many tacos. Ugh. Is he dead then? He just disappeared. He disappeared. He got taken to heaven, I guess. How do you just disappear like that? Oh, it's my symbol! <laughs> that is, that is wow, my Wow, yeah, I know that, so, yeah, they must have... So where's the Lens of Truth at in this game? The Lens of Truth is actually, uh, non-existent in this game. But it does have several different, uh... You know, references to it. Yeah. Game is cool. It's like in Zelda 2, the Ocarina of Time, there's references to Zelda 2 with like, what, Saria and the, the Gorons? Yep. There's, uh, the, the water port of Saria. Yeah. I used to think it's pronounced Saria. He's on Maria, Saria. Anyway. Probably right. That puts you a lot of those names in Ocarina of Time. But it was Skull, Skull Tula. <laughs> anyway. And we're on to uh, try rescue Zelda again. She keeps getting kidnapped. You're doing great on life. Yeah. If I can keep it that way. Yeah, I'm doing great in life, thanks. Great, I'm giving you an ego boost. That's just what I want. Yeah. <laughs> so I get prideful and fall. Like, like I am now. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Loser. Thanks a lot, Danny. Oh, wait a minute. Get my life back. With nice the key catch. to success. Just pay phone again. It's only cost 25 rupees. Yeah, use the pay phone that stops time, apparently. But he starts moving. Yeah. <laughs> That's just always how movies work, though. You go on the phone in a movie and nothing kills you. Yeah, but it could uh, teleport you through time.
How do you think that the uh, armor dispersion works with the with the guards there? Do you think that the stronger ones get different colored armors? I think so. Alright, on the sixth flow. Oh, we're getting narrow now. Going down the narrow path. Oh, we're gonna fight Danny. Oh, wait. I got him. How do you say his name? Agon I thought it was Agonim. Agonim is probably more correct. I call him Agonim because if you pronounce the ga more, he makes you upset when you have to fight him fast. No, it's Agnum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta hawk a loogie while pronouncing it. Have, you seen, uh, have you seen the uh, boss for uh, Skyward Sword? What his name is? No. To hear him. To hear him. <laughs> to hear him. <laughs> to hear him say what? Get her. Get her a him. <laughs> it's actually funny because the boss looks like a her or a him. Oh well. The boss looks like a tranny. <laughs> How about trans in him? I fail. Trans in him. Discover secret that passage! Him. That's tight. Now here's a fight with I got him. I can, can you grant wishes? <laughs> cool. Now this part right here, for the longest time, I didn't know you can use your master sword to reflect the power back to him. I thought you had to use that bug net. It actually worked too. The bug net will work the same way as the master sword. You know, Ron, if you stand closer to him, you actually stand a better chance of hitting him. Yeah, but you never know what powers I'm gonna use next. But if you oh, stand yeah. close to him, his random attack doesn't hit you. Don't stand in the middle! Oh my god. See, look, I, I, I posted him right there, and a lot of you hit me. You don't know what he's gonna do next. Your gameplay is shocking. Oh. Yeah. Oh. See, they're out there. It's like, oh, you don't know what he's gonna do next. So that's why I keep my distance. So. You mean like if you get face-to-face -face with him, he'll always do the same, that same attack? No, uh, if you get face to face don't stand in the middle! If, if you get face-to-face -face with him, uh, when he does that random attack, the one where it shoots the fireballs all across, you can still deflect it. In fact, you have a better chance of deflecting it. Huh. So if you stand in the middle every time, he'll always shoot lightning at you. If he stands in the middle and he faces downward, he's gonna shoot lightning, that's for sure. Oh. oh. Nice aim. Like right now he's gonna shoot lightning, so you better move. There you go. Uh, I, st I, I still got me. Do it. I hope you die, that'll be funny. How stupid are you? Very stupid, apparently. I think your brain, your brain is hanging in the back of that hat. Yeah. Oh, come on, what is that, five? It was four. See, I was afraid I was gonna do lightning right there because you never know. Run now! Oh, look at that! Come on! Oh, great job! Gonna run to the lightning like an idiot. Return of Ganon. Yeah. All right, round two of ten. No. Yeah. Predictable. This boss is it just, music. Is it just me or is that background supposed to have some sort of color besides blue? I guess you're in the, you know, the sixth floor, so you're in the sky. I don't know. Oh wow! Did you just dodge that? Yes. How? And that that was pure skill. That was not luck at all. Okay. I believe yeah, you. he didn't mean to do that. So I'm panicking. Ron, you're probably TASing right now. <laughs> What is that? School assisted speedrun. <laughs> PMSing, what? Basically, uh, when they TS, they take the game and they slow it down to like 10 or 5 frames per second and play it really slow so they get precise movement. Yeah. Yeah, I know what it is. I just never really actually done it. I don't know how to do it. It's annoying. Pretty cool to watch. 
I seen a yeah, video. Yeah, it definitely is. Now we beat uh, I can him. Oh great, he can talk to us through the through the world into the past. Yeah, the dark world is really based off Mexico. <laughs> oh, really? That's like Egypt right here, which is in Mexico. <laughs> What's that? Always you know, look in the background where the sun is. At. I always wonder what that was. Just maybe another castle or something. I don't know. I love the way it looks. Maybe it's another mountain with a chimney on top. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool looking as. Shashula tells us our next, ob our next objective in the game. When I first got to this part of the game, I was like, man, I just beat, because the three dungeons, you know, I beat, it seemed like it was a long enough game, because it was challenging to me at the time. Like, oh, I got eight, seven, eight more dungeons to go? Are you serious? How long is this game? That's why I love it. Yeah. All right, let's make the old man's wishes come true. But we're not going to do that here, so. <laughs> uh, we're going to stop the review right there, and, uh, so yeah, that's it for the low budget review of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, requested by Alpha621, I believe, a while back, when we finally got around to doing it. Um, so yeah, this is like my second favorite Zelda game of all time. Um, next, my favorite Zelda game of all time next to Ocarina of Time. Huh, all time, Ocarina of Time. <clears throat> anyway, um, and... No one's laughing. So yeah, this is like just one of the best games ever created for Nintendo and one of the top Zelda games ever made. And... So yeah, I mean, it really takes me back, and and when I play, I, I didn't play it. And I came out in '92, but I didn't really play it at all till like '95, not 1995, and I played it and got into it. Real awesome game, a true Zelda classic. Um, and yeah, I mean, just a great story to it, and great music, great soundtrack, uh, great gameplay. Pretty challenging. Uh, it's one of the more challenging Zelda games. Not as challenging as the first Zelda for the NES, but definitely a lot more challenging than Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. And, uh, so yeah, Link to the Past is real awesome. Um, I have to give this game a 9.5 out of 10. Venom? Yeah, I really like Super Mario Brothers, especially this version, because he's got the green outfit and the sword. Um, he doesn't jump on people on this one like the other games, but this one's pretty good, too. He throws bombs, and he's got boomerangs, and throws bombs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this game's a bomb. Uh... Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Uh, I wish Luigi was on here, but he's not. So, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I'll give it a 12 out of 3. All right, cool. Uh, Lens of Truth? Uh, this game is specifically uh, very uh, nostalgic for me because I was actually raised on it. Uh, this is my very first Zelda game, despite it probably should have been Zelda 2 or Zelda 1. Um, I played through this game all the time and watched my brothers and sisters play the game, and, and basically it's what led me into liking Ocarina of Time so much because I had just totally loved this game. Uh, the music is very ambient and beautiful and well-composed. Um, the graphics are top of the line for, for its time in gaming and uh, makes a really good impact on, on the player, especially uh, players who basically bought this game when it was new. Uh, anybody who enjoys games that, that are like this, anyone who enjoys Zelda games in general, should definitely uh, try playing this game because it is the staple of the rest of the Zeldas. Um, if I were to rate it, I'd give it a plain 10 out of 10 because it's just it's that good. So try it out. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking awesome. Um, all right, then. So there you go. That is it for the low-budget review of A Link to the Past. Thank you very much, Danny and Venom, for joining us in this review. And we got, I don't know where you went, but, uh, yeah, thank you as well uh, for your 16-minute commentary. Um, all right, so we're out of here. Ron Moore. Venom. Lens of Truth, 1689. All right, guys. God bless and take care. See ya.